Oh, we're rolling. Well, I'm Bruce Gordon from Bruce Gordon Cycles. We are collaborating on the Nozolas, and it is all made in California. And they have two constants. They're all red, and they all have rock and road tires. Yeah, these are essentially vehicles for displaying variety of situations. For instance, this bike here is a fixed gear bike. It would be great for urban riding, but also if you want to get off the pavement, except for a dirt lot or dirt road, it would be very simple for that. What other kind of frames do you make? This is other models. Touring bikes, uh, off-road touring bikes, grindura bikes. You know, anything that will take a 700 by 43 tire. So the 700, this is the Bruce Gordon Rock and Road yeah. tire, and this is, this is the inspiration for the bike. Um, what, what brought you to that point? Well, I talked to Bruce about the bike, uh, and uh, that's a collaboration. Uh, I think he's a great guy, and I want to do a bike with Bruce, so... And two Jewish guys. Two Jewish Big guys. nose. Yeah. Now Zola is the addition for nose. Yeah. Big nose. Yeah, the uh, head badge has uh, got a very prominent nose. So you're more Russian Jew? Uh, well, uh, grandparents from Russia and Jewish on both sides. Yeah. Okay, and I'm uh, Polish Russia Polish. and both my grandparents are Jewish. Okay, I thought they were from Chicago. Uh, well, they, they, they moved to Chicago. And the Schnazola, the logo, uh, was done by Paul Sadoff, and we wanted to uh, have a, a Hebrew, a Hebraic font, and I found one on the internet and brought it, and it was $20. I said, $20, let's spend $20. And Paul said, well, we don't have to spend $20. I can just have my guys, you know, at the sign shop lift the font, and because uh, really we only need a few of the letters. We don't need the whole alphabet, and they just won't sell us a few letters, you know, so. You had to make it economic. You know? Yeah, $20 is money a lot of money. Yeah, it doesn't grow yeah. on trees. Yeah, yeah, no, money doesn't grow on trees. So who does what when it comes to making these bikes? Paul, Paul does all the welding. I do all the red painting. And the other things, sort of, he does some mitering and I do some mitering. So it's, it's a, a true collaboration. It really depends on the bike, too. Yeah, yeah. Because the touring version is like almost entirely Bruce's creation. And this thing is almost entirely my creation. Except that, you know, a lot of the geometry and stuff, we co you know, coordinate together and talk with it and bounce off each other. And I defer to Bruce mostly on that because he's the one who designed these tires. And so these bikes have to ride properly and steer nicely with his tires. And he has much more experience with that than I do. So and you even, are, even this bike has a front end that's very much the rig and the angle that Bruce would put on the I was going to come to that because you're both very, very experienced frame builders in your own life. You've been working for a long while and I was just wondering how you're able to bring, bring the, your combined experience together and how harmonious that process has been. It's easy because we're both Jewish. Pretty much. The other thing too We is argue a lot. But, you know, the longer you do this stuff, the more you realize that, that there's a lot of different ways to do the same thing. Yeah. And there's some really, really good ways. And I think he likes the really good ways. And for the most part, I like the really good ways. So we don't argue too heavily on too much. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, this bike was supposed to have. Paul brought this bike down and he said, you're going to hate this bike. And I said, no, it's like it's a cool bike. I said, he said, it's going to be a fixed gear, single speed bike. And I said, yeah, you know, fixed gear. I, I rode a commute bike that was a fixed gear track bike with a front brake for years in Oregon and I said you know it should have a front brake and he said yeah okay it'll hit you drill the fork for a front brake and so when I called him last week Paul said I, said, I asked him if he had the, got the brake on the bike and he said no I lied about that yeah I didn't put brakes on it so but it, it is drilled with a brake so oh, it'll, it, hold brakes. it'll hold brakes and a front brake is all you need on a fixed gear bike so what's, what's the really great thing about the Schnauzer concept? Why do you think about it? Well, 
they're offered a pretty good deal for the component package. And also, between the two of us, we have almost nine years of experience. There's no other collaboration in frame building like that. There's some good ones, you know, uh, good builders that are getting together and creating bikes together. But ours is different because some of their stuff, they design the bikes, you know, they get the orders, and then they have a third party make the bikes. There's no third party here. We do. We do it all, yep. including the, the powder coat. Yep. You know, Bruce does all the painting, so it's it's different. It's so they're they're available. They're only as whole bikes, and so we make a little bit of money on the parts, and uh, we they're priced pretty pretty competitively. They're actually a little bit less than a rock lobster. Yeah, we're underselling ourselves. Yeah, underselling, underselling ourselves. Yeah. So that's what you get. You get good value. A tremendous amount of experience, the ability to run some big tires and ride anyway. Right? Yeah, and if you don't like Schnazola, the name, don't buy a Schnazola. Yeah. If you don't like a red bike, if you order a blue bike, it's going to come, it's going to be red. Yes. And you can repaint it blue if you want. Blue is fine as long as it's red. Yeah, it's blue is fine as long as it's red. <laughs>